it's kind of been Diggs and everyone else. Um, and it was mostly Diggs. And in this game, not only was Diggs not the leader in yards, he wasn't second, he was third. Um, Khalil Shakir, and I'm calling this like his official coming out party. I think he had like a mini one last week. Um, last week, I think it was like four for four for 34 yards. Um, this week, six for six for 92 yards. Um, so great game for him. And he's looking like he's playing confident to me. And I think sometimes me personally, I kind of forget just how fast Shakir is. Um, you know, he, he's a four, four forty guy. Um, so it's not like he's some slouch out there. Um, but also seeing him, you know, finish some of his runs after catch with some physicality, dropping a shoulder, um, little back step to make somebody miss, um, tiptoeing down the sideline. I, I, I was super excited when the bills drafted Shakir, um, I, I wanted to see more of him down the stretch last year. Um, I like that he's getting his opportunities kind of early in this season and with Knox out for the foreseeable future in Kincaid, you know, he's going to have a more traditional tight end role. I think those opportunities open up for, for the slot guy. And I, I think Shakir is kind of, it's early. He looks like he's going to firmly take control of that to me though. Um, I think Hardy's had some opportunities he's like an electric gadget guy so far in this offense they haven't really used him a ton in the passing game i think there's still a lot of ceiling to reach there um but as far as like you know traditional receiver in that spot i i think shakir is starting to emerge um gabe davis you know answering his rough week last week nine catches on 12 attempts this week 87 yards and a touchdown um, Diggs, like I said, number three on the team, nine of 12, 70 yards and Mr. Dalton Kincaid, um, second consecutive week. He's had a big game, um, five catches on seven attempts for 65 yards and a touchdown. Um, and I love this connection that's building between Allen and, and Kincaid. And honestly, just looking at the way Looking at the way that this passing game was kind of divided up, um, plus James Cook, you know, what he was able to do in the run game. He wasn't really involved in the passing game in this one, but he can be. And just seeing that as like breaking down as what all our all of our top weapons are. Um, granted, it, it's one week of this, you know, diversification, um, but just everybody kind of getting involved fairly even attempts and everybody kind of affecting the game in their own way to to have like a big big success like as as a whole unit versus you know there's 200 receiving yards but 130 of them were digs and you split up 70 between six other players getting one catch each now this was you know four other players all making contributions all different scenarios, all multiple catches. Um, so that was one of the things that I saw in the season thus far is, you know, a lot of people were involved in the passing game, but a lot of it was, you know, one, two targets. Um, this, these type of numbers, this spread here, the way people are getting involved. Um, this is what I'd love to see throughout the rest of the season. This is what I thought we were going to get when we started the season. Um, I think the more you can do this, the less teams are going to be able to decide they want to, you know, double Steph Diggs all game and he's going to get his opportunities. And as you can, you know, move between who they're trying to take away, what they're trying to do, you have just so many options. Um, so I think this was the type of game script for the wide receivers, the tight ends um, to build on going forward.